The government is scrapping changes brought in in 2015 to try and stop excessive pay increases for MPs, labelling the changes a failure that have had the opposite effect. Last year, Parliament froze MPs' salaries and allowances after rejecting the proposed 3% pay increase as unacceptably high. In 2015, concerned by high salary increases, former Prime Minister John Key removed the remuneration authority's independence in setting MPs' pay and instead introduced a set formula. But Workplace Relations Minister Ian Lees Galloway says the change led to even greater pay increases and he's going to introduce a bill to repeal it. But the Greens are warning this is simply tinkering around the edges and MPs' wages should match other New Zealanders. So do MPs think they're paid too much? Uh, it's around 295000 a year. I work incredibly hard and uh, I hope that people do consider the work that I do good value for money. That ultimately is a, is a decision for them to make at each election. Uh, I do earn a substantial amount. I absolutely accept that. I wasn't comfortable with the level of increases that I was seeing relative to what was being experienced by the public. I felt it was out of kilt and I think other MPs agree. It's not good enough for MP salaries to get further and further away from what the rest of the country and our citizens are earning. I find that a really hard question to answer. We're well paid, um, but MPs work hard as well, and so I'm sure a lot of New Zealanders will you know, have their own views about that. I'm being paid uh, a little bit less than I was before, but uh, if you come here for the money, you're in the wrong place. The MPs' pay increases should be tied to increases in the general economy. If you did that, uh, there'd be some fairness in it, and you might even get a few MPs focused on improving economic policy. Who knows? Oh, I think uh, everyone's going to have their own view on it. All I'll say is that uh, uh, we're very well paid for what we